Hello, I am David Hochbaum, and welcome to my studio. Being an artist who frequently deals with the subjects of memory and time, I often find myself searching through my past to reveal the origins of my emotional responses to things like color, form, and sound. I find this exercise to be useful in mining inspiration, and it will sometimes expose a source of the emotional triggers that provoke the ideas behind my work. One of the larger sources of these triggers that I've come across are video games. I've spent countless hours in darkly lit rooms of soda soap carpets, buzzing bleeps, and flashing colors. Because of this heavy saturation of electronic stimuli in my youth, I'm now able to access a plethora of memory when exploring the anatomy of the 8-bit video sprite. For those who don't know what the sprite is, it simply refers to the two-dimensional bitmap of the characters one sees in early video games. When these characters are blown up, you can see that they're made up of a series of colored blocks. But in order to fully explain how I got to painting the sprites, we need a bit of backstory on my live stream drawing show, Open to Suggestion 111. It was early 2020 and the world was in the throes of a global pandemic. The US was in its first stages of lockdown. Unable to leave our home, go to work, see family under threat of contracting or spreading the virus, there was a heightened sense of anxiety and isolation. A side effect that I suffered, as did many others, was a creative paralysis. I no longer had any interest in continuing any projects that I had started previous to the unprecedented events that were unfolding. I needed to quickly find a new creative outlet in order to process and to communicate with others what we were all going through. I began thinking of the times when I was young, staying home from school, sick in bed, watching television. Two of the programs that I remember watching that had made the strongest impact on me were The Joy of Painting with Bob Ross and books cover to cover with John Robbins. Using these two programs as inspiration, I decided to create my own show and called it Open to Suggestion 111. The title reflects not only the way I felt of the state of things in the world, but also the format of the program. It would air live, and viewers were encouraged to chime in their suggestions, which I would read off in real time and add them to the painting or collage that I was working on. The theme of the show would change daily. The subject of the drawing would range from dreams, to thoughts and ideas of love and companionship, to Greek mythology, and monsters. Hello! It wasn't until episode 22 the last episode during Trivia Week, when the video game sprite first appeared. The theme of this episode was trivia, and the first viewer to guess which video game sprite I was painting would win a prize. I chose the video game sprite for this episode mainly because of how easy they are to replicate, but I also wanted to play with the idea of how easy it is to trigger a memory by using just a few colored blocks. Episode 22 was the last of the series of Open to Suggestion, and it was by far my favorite one. I really enjoyed this exercise in memory triggering, and I felt I got so much out of it that I decided to continue and explore further some of the video sprites that I felt a closer connection with. After running through a few of my favorites, I was inspired to take this technique and recreate some of my own previous works in 8-bit form. The idea was to reinterpret them by breaking them down and emphasizing only certain distinct colors and shapes. I was to re-familiarize myself with my landscapes that I have become accustomed to creating. Reacting to my older work this way was creating a new impulse. I quickly began a new batch of paintings. This exercise of concentration on color and form inspired me and motivated me to return to my previously abandoned works. One of the most exciting things I see coming from all this are the signs of a newly integrated technique beginning to appear in my work. 
I suppose if there was a moral to all this, it would be to not give up hope on inspiration. As cliche as that may sound, it's certainly true. I never would have expected that the 8-bit video sprite would be such a massive inspiration and trigger such an incredible amount of motivation for me at a time when I felt little to no joy or desire to create. I encourage all my friends that find themselves at a creative impasse to continue to experiment and explore. That trigger to inspiration still lies somewhere in there, and sometimes you need to reach out to find it. And in this case, once again, collaboration has proven to me to be one of the greatest sources of inspiration at times when I find it most difficult to create. You know, none of these exciting new techniques would be possible if it weren't for those who participated by tuning in at 1.11 p.m. weekdays to open to suggestion. I want to thank all of you who participated. I want to thank you for watching this video. Once again, from my studio here at Somerville, I'm David Hockbaum. Take care of yourselves, take care of each other, and keep working. See you next time. See you next time.